SpaceX successfully sending an unmanned rocket to the International Space Station. It is carrying 4,000 pounds of food, equipment, and that espresso machine that we talked about. It's taking it all to the astronauts who live there. The delivery should arrive by Friday, but after the launch, focus turned to what has become the tougher part for SpaceX, that attempt to try and land the booster rocket on an ocean platform floating a few hundred miles off Florida's coast. SpaceX founder Elon Musk posted this vine. The rocket landed fine, but then it tipped after touching down. Yeah, here it comes. Landing. So close. And Looks good, but then. Yeah, not quite there. Not good. It also hopes that reusable rockets will reduce costs. That's why they've been doing this. But this is three times now that they've attempted to bring this rocket down, and three times they've lost it. And sticking with the space theme for a moment, let's tell you about another story that's going on. A little girl wanted to send a message to her dad on the space station. So, uh, oh, I love this. You heard I about this? I saw this. I tweeted it yesterday. And I decided to help out as part of the message uh, to space ad campaign. The car company used 11 cars and... Uh, the Delamar Dry Lake in Nevada to create a two square mile uh, Steph loves you message. Joe is cringing at my mispronunciations. Uh, Steph's dad was able to see it. I don't it. know what car company it was. I've never heard of that one. The space um, station taking pictures of the message. It's also uh, the largest state? tire track image ever created as determined by the like Guinness Linus? World Records. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. You can subscribe by clicking right here to check out the latest Mad Money CEO interviews, market news, financial advice, and product unboxing. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.